think we need to differentiate here, Dean, between the difference of an economic cycle and a market cycle. And is there a parallel that is drawn between the two? And many times there is. Uh, but that's when we have assets that are correlating with what's happening in the economy. And many times we have assets that, as we know historically speaking, that they do well in a lousy economic cycle and some that uh, that do horrible during right. that period of time. Well, so you have to differentiate the two. That's right. That, that's, that's where you start talking about uh, correlation and a lot of different things that we – understand in the investment world to you know reduce risk and, and keep those returns more steady over time um, because it's always you know in, in just about any cycle there's going to be something that's good now one caveat there but if you'll you know, I mean just right back in 2008 uh, it was there was bonds lost money stocks lost money gold lost money oil lost money Commodities. real estate lost money you know and it was it was an all-out bloodbath, right? So it the was. only thing that didn't lose money was cash. Or short strategies, of right. course, which bets against the market. We don't need to go into that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, at some points in time, maybe it's okay to be in cash. Mm -hmm. At some points in time, you know, you, you've got to have a strategy with your investments that can handle these different economic or market cycles. You have to have defined rules set up in advance, not reactionary. Because if you don't do that, that's when you have the problems.